Hello everyone, it's Andrew, and today it's going to be our most dangerous expedition yet. Today we are going to be finding the wild gorgon. Come on everyone, it's very dangerous and very serious. We all have to be very careful. Now, this is the middle woods, you know, like the middle woods. Like they call this, like kind of like a middle earth, but woods. And you know, it's like, but except it's in a middle school. This is where the Gorgons are most popular out of anywhere. Actually, some people have managed to tame some and guard them inside the inside the lab. They were trying to find a natural rabbit gorgon. No. Sometimes they try to get themselves by garbage so they can get tables. <laughs> I don't think any are right here. So, I think we're gonna cut the footage and we're gonna see you back in a moment. What's we find them? Okay, everyone, here we are. Of course, this is the proper place to find a natural gorgon and its habitat. Now, let's see if I can see. Now, right around here is where they usually find them. But they are very rare. This one's been staying with the track, you see? See the string here? That's those dirty pouches trying to kill these things. You know, they sell for a very high penny. Pretty penny. Let's go take it back to the lab, where it can be further investigated. Oh, wait. It's snoring. <coughs> beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay. Now, we'll be right back in the lab. See you soon. Okay, everyone, we're back, and a civilian has walked to the premises. Now, the Gorgon is getting very trouble. Oh, no, he's about to get out. He's about to get out. It ran away. This is good to know. Hand sanitizer all <laughs> heals all wounds. So let's just. Ow! There we go. Ow! There we go. Ow! Okay. Ow! Now, Ow! let's take it back to the lab where we can investigate it more. Okay, now we're back in the lab and the Gorgon has fallen asleep. So we have to be very quiet. Now, since we're here, let's get a brief history of a Gorgon. Now, this Gorgon right here is an alpha male Gorgon. These are very rare specimens and are only found very rarely. So, here's what they look like. You may be wondering, 
But where does the boredom come from? See, well, see, as we all know, there are two moons. One of the moons, the moon that is most common, is the fake moon that we all see outside. It's a hologram projected by the government, as we all know. But the real moon looks more like this. See, it look, it's made of gorgonzola cheese. See, the myths that you hear of the moon is, yes, student. Does the moon cheese fly? Actually, it floats in space and goes around the orbit. See, when the cheese goes around the orbit, it pasteurizes itself and it becomes more delicious. Now, see, when the sun, now as we all know, the sun is run by the Illuminati. So when, so when it powers, it gives energy to the, the cheese moon, and then from it, Ed Morgan is born. Yes, cameraman, it's going to be not a student. Um, uh, student. Yeah. Um, I thought that whenever the sun and the moon and the earth line up, that's whenever they get their power. Well, see, they're born from the energy, from the sun, but at a total eclipse, that is when they get the most energy. And they become dominant. Now see, the, 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 what can they do when they have all the energy? Destroy the world. But they choose not to because they're good creatures. It's waking now, up. It's waking, it's waking up. up. So I put a little bit of cyanide in this hand sanitizer. So we won't have to deal with it ever again. Good night. That's it. Now where was I? All right. Um, destroy the world. Um, no, it's dead. Oh, well, it's dead. Uh, but, but when will we ever find another Gorgonian space? We can clone it or something. I don't know what science. Who cares? Science. Now, the dead Gorgon you see here is the alpha male Gorgon. They are the most powerful, and they can birth up to numerous Gorgons. Now, what have we learned today, class? That the Gorgons are amazing. Correct. We are all going to die someday, and no one will remember us if we die. Now, where were we? Let's just get rid of that and. Well, this has been National Geographic with Andrew, and I will give you. Thank you.